time for another analysis on Dawn Air Wars. It's been quite a time since I've made the last one, but lots of new information have been published. And I've been dissecting them and putting a theory together on what they mean for later on when it gets released. So I'll be going over concept arts, the teaser video too, and some other things that I found out. The teaser will be in the description in case you haven't watched the new one. I won't be playing in this video, but I'll show you the highlights, but the link will be there. Let's start from the beginning. Rafal M is gonna be the main aircraft in, in this audio play, obviously, because it's in France. And then behind it, we have the F-35, the Sukhoi 27 and the F-15E, which are gonna be the main enemy planes from what I believe. And I can, I think I can already tell who's gonna be flying each of them, as you'll see later on. The main character will be Zodiac, because he flies the fall and he's, you know, main character, he's, has the main character vibes. One interesting thing I note on the, the fall is that there's no markings so far on the screenshots that have been released. Like, there's no identifiable squadrons or hints from the paint. Now, one thing that I noticed on this screenshot is that this B1 had some laser eyes and I don't think he's going for the Bitcoin challenge. Now, I'm thinking this could possibly be an unmanned B1, just like we've seen before in Ace Combat 7. Also, we have the in-universe map of Dawn B released. Here's a good work by our friend Salutus Eversol and his uh, map designs. It's looking pretty cool. So, I think the pink is regions countries provinces that are part of the empire this al runa empire which has the little capital here in this island thing which will be mentioned in the in the teaser so yeah looking uh, pretty good and i have to mention this guys just because this project shares some of the same people as project wingman including the the Composer from Project Queenman, he's a composer now and also director and the writer is the same. This is not Project Queenman. I need to say it. It's not Project Queenman. You can see even the map is different, okay? I just need to emphasize that. We had some concept art being released. Now, if you look closely well, on the paint, I hope you can see there's like some Roman numerals. And there's like even like the kind of like a the Roman Senate kind of sounds like acronym, but it's not. So very like Roman vibes with the numerals and the imagery and the eagles and that kind of stuff. This, uh, from my understanding, is the Imperial Air Legion, which even sounds Roman, and that's gonna be part of the Sal Runa Empire, from my understanding. So Imperial Air Legion is like their name of their uh, Air Force. And uh, for those who think this is a familiar image, you might have seen this. It was, uh, it was a reference to an Ace Combat 6 wallpaper. Here it is. Imperial 3rd Naval Fleet ahead. Terminate with extreme prejudice to maintain operation time frame. So here again we get another hint that we'll be fighting the Empire because they have the Imperial Navy. And also get introduced to AOX Morningstar, which I believe it's going to be Zodiac's uh, AOX support plane. And now let's talk about the teaser 2 trailer. I'm going to share a couple of uh, screenshots that I thought were interesting. Uh, first of all, it's directed by Joseph Pavli who was the composer for Project Wingman, so you guys know the drill. And also, the writer is Matt, also the writer for Project Wingman. But again, it's not the same as Project Wingman, it's a different universe. I'm just saying, some people that work on it are the same. We got uh, the capital of, uh, I believe, the Empire, so Sal Runa, Imperial Air Legion Air Base 13, I believe. We have here Reaper, he's flying the F-15, and this is Freya, which I believe she's flying the Sukhoi 27. We had some interesting dialogue, something about town being open since zero day. So like what is zero day? Major event in the in the story, which I'm not uh, quite sure, but I think will be referenced uh, quite a bit in the in the series. And we do have some concept art being being released of the pilots and their different helmets, which is I guess how you identify them in the uh, the cutscenes. So Zodiac is a pretty uh, standard one you got reaper uh freya and miracle now because miracle has this all high-tech kind of design i think that he's flying the f-35 and this standard helmet i believe uh, has like some uh roman numerals here so it's probably gonna be your standard uh imperial air legion design 
Save your sorrows for the dead. You'll be meeting them soon enough. And that's what I have so far on my analysis for Dawn Aeroplay. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you noticed something I didn't, let me know in the comments. And also let me know what you think. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.